conduct that Also, it does support the that and rappel overnight. The two things are required for special forces operations to build the resilience of the plan and redundancy in case one team is bogged down by enemy fire. Ongoing is the close contact combat between the assault team of the special force squadron and the Titanic bombers. I'm pleased to report that the SBS has achieved superior firepower over the Titanic bombers. The simulation, codenamed Exercise Seahawk, was organized by the Ghana Navy Special Boat Squadron to test the capabilities of the Navy and help in responding to maritime-related crimes like piracy and determining the level of vulnerability in most key and targeted areas. The Maritime Counter-Terrorism Operational Readiness Exercise saw the likes of the 153 Armored Regiment, Naval Aviation SEAL, the Ghana Police Service, Eastern Naval Command among others. Speaking at the event, the Minister for Defense, Dominic Nitiwo, described Ghana's fight against terrorism as a collective effort. According to him, the citizenry must support the country's security apparatus with information. As always, you prepare for war before the war itself. And the good armed forces is the one that trains on daily basis and mimics what will happen. The army has done his. The Navy is undertaking Operation uh, Exercise Seahawk, and of course, supported by the Air Force and others, as well as the Ghana Army as well, you saw the tanks that came around, to come and support them. Their exercises were divided into three segments. The first segment was an imagination of an attack on a ship. That exercise has already taken place, and the Ghana Navy, supported by the Air Force, had to go and rescue the kidnapped people that has been done. And of second exercise, they had to drop um, people and men on smaller boats to do that. And of course, today, which is the last exercise, it's an imagination that this particular junction mall has been taken over by a group of terrorists. Please, they are not terrorists. It's a stimulation exercise. You will see the supposed terrorists as part of us. So as you move, you will realize that they are, it's a simulation exercise, and we don't want people to make short videos of it and say there, is, there was a, a, um, a terrorist attack, and soldiers had to come in like what happened when the army DDS up north in Tamale. This, you can see uh, the boys who acted as a terrorist. But just to give you an idea of what would happen if there was an attack at this junction mall, the armed forces are prepared and ready, equipped to deal with bringing down people who have attacked us or who intend to attack us, and also to detonate any IED, whether it is uh, IED, that is improvised explosive device or the real uh, device of explosion or anything, to ensure that you and all of us remain safe. The armed forces are determined to carry out their mandate to ensure that we remain safe and that this country remains safe. What they need is support and information. It is important to work closely with the armed forces. If you see something, please say something. If you believe you've seen something that you suspect that is untoward, it's not natural. Or if you see a bag that you suspect that it is a strange object, 
please report immediately to somebody who is within the security agencies for them to go and have a look at it. When there's an explosion like what has happened, please move away as a first option. Don't run to that explosion to go and take pictures because you want to put them on social media. You would endanger your life. I do know that some people, when they hear a car accident or they hear an explosion or something, then they rush there. And if you remember, the explosion that happened in a mining town killed people because human beings were rushing there to go and see, and you can never know what will happen. If there was a terrorist attack, and you decide, instead of taking cover, to rush it there, you may be a casualty one day. So I want to appeal to Ghanaians to be security conscious, to ensure that they watch their surroundings, they take care of themselves, and they realize that we are not in normal times. 10 years, 15 years ago, we would not have been thinking and talking about terrorist activities, but today we are. We are determined as leaders of West Africa to rid West Africa of the difficulties that we are facing today. But until we do so, please join with government, whether you are in Ghana, Ivory Coast, Nigeria, Burkina Faso, Mali, or anywhere, join government, your government, to fight this terrorist menace. You can never know who is a terrorist. That nice gentleman who goes to church with you or who prays with you in the mosque could be the terrorist or could be working with them. So please watch your surroundings, report what you see, help the security agencies so that they can in turn help you. But like I said, today is a simulation exercise and I want to thank the men and women of the Ghana Navy, especially the service, um, Special Force Brigade. I want to thank the Chief of Naval Staff. I want to thank the Air Force people who came to support, as well as the men and women of the Armed Forces, led by the Chief of Defense Staff, and congratulate them that they should continue with this uh, effort. The Ghana Police, the Ghana Immigration Service, and the National Security, who have all supported and have continued to support all the exercises. I want to thank all of you. We work together as a team, and we hope that we'll continue to do this. When the armed forces continue to request for uh, resources, they request for resources that will be used to protect you and myself. Of course, Ghana remains the only country in West Africa that has not had any terrorist attack, especially those big countries in West Africa. We, on our part, led by the security agencies, particularly the armed forces, who continue to do everything and anything to support, to ensure that Ghana remains a peaceful country. Government on this part will continue to re-equip the armed forces to be able to meet their needs. We're in difficult times. We all know that. The world is not the world of three, four years ago. From 2019 or 2020, when uh, the COVID stuck, the world has changed. Difficulties everywhere. Unprecedented inflation rates in all countries. Even the big countries are suffering. You can imagine what is happening to us. Countries that literally don't import anything are suffering. So you can imagine an import-dependent country like Ghana. So difficult times have come. But in spite of these difficult times that we are facing, government through the president is determined to keep this nation safe. Because trust me, security is first. Any other thing follows. Your life is the most important thing. Any other thing follows. If you don't have your life, there is nothing to fight for in this world. So security is the most important and the first responsibility of any government. Then other things will follow. And that's why the president will continue to invest in all these difficulties we are facing in the security agencies so that they can keep us safe. I want to thank you, the armed forces, continue to do what you are doing, continue to do, to mimic these exercises, continue to stimulate these exercises, and hopefully, we hope that there will not be a time where you will be needed to, to do the real thing. But in the event, unfortunately, that you are needed to do the real thing, we trust and we, we believe that you will be able to, to give us what uh, Ghanaians need. That is to keep this country safe and to make sure that this continue continues to be safe. I want to thank you very much and wish you well. Thank you.
Ghana remains the only country yet to be a victim of terrorist attacks in the sub-region. Exercise Seahawk is in furtherance of the national security's vision of keeping Ghana safe. For Metro News, Shadrach Odame Ejari. Akka.